Hello, Johnny here with a bit of personal news. While I'm continuing to DM the Oxventure and play in Oxventure Presents Blades in the Dark, I've actually left Dicebreaker and Readpop to start a Patreon covering video games, tabletop games, and even publishing pen and paper adventures for you to play at home with your friends. You can check it out at patreon.com forward slash Johnny Chiodini. I hope you like it. Our latest adventure begins, uh, we're going to call it like a good five or six days after the events of High Moon. Um, because, you know, Prudence has had a, a lot of werebear to work out of her own system. Bob, no, why no, does that I'm, remi- I'm Bob. Where does that. Oh my goodness, where does yeah. That name? Yeah. Why does it sound so familiar to me? Bob. You used it when you called to me. I was at home tending my, my garden and. Yes. Um, then I heard uh, a voice saying, Bob, come at once. We need you. I ran okay. out and I've been trying to find you ever since. I finally is... found you. He leads you to the entrance of um, what what sure sure is anything looks like a dungeon. This is riddled with pressure plates. There are loads of them. There's pressure plates like, you're like, that's a pressure plate. That's a pressure plate. That's faux pressure plate. That's pressure plate veneer. <laughs> um, we can jump this, it's fine. Okay. Just stay put, Bob. Okay, it's lovely yeah. in here, it's bioluminescent. No, Bob, Bob, the stay, trees Bob, stay are re- put. Okay. Bob, okay. stay put, okay. please. Seriously, Bob, we'll stay right put. Okay. Bob, don't move a muscle, I say impressively and coolly. Well, c- continue to move the muscles that control your breathing. But otherwise, not even the invo- them, Bob. The involuntary ones, yeah. 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 You, Release can, yeah. all the muscles that you're using <laughs> to keep your bodily waste inside you. <laughs> Corazon, you're confusing him. What if there are pressure plates underneath, Bob? Oh my god, you're right. <laughs> Bob. Continue we, um, to function yeah. as normal, but don't okay. go anywhere. Let's just look at this room. I need to. We need to see this room and see what the things are that's going to kill Bob if we don't do something about it immediately. Well, are we all over the spike pit yet? Yes. Yes. Right. Are we? Are we? We I, haven't. I don't, I don't think I've gone over the spike pit yet. You are no, because Bob's no, holding a rope. Let's just Let us yeah. all proceed over the spike pit. Let's all just jump it. It's only six foot. We're all adventurers. Come on. All right. We yep. can do this. What? All together. Easy jump. Maybe a dex acrobatics check and don't whiff it. <laughs> okay. Oh, natural twenty. Fifteen Great. plus Great. two is seventeen. Oh, this 23, would be really embarrassing. finally. Where was that earlier? <laughs> I guess it's just as important now. <laughs> All right. What's a five? I should have spider okay. climbed. <laughs> should and, I knew uh, I should have spider climbed, and I thought, no, in the spirit of teamwork and, yeah. and unity. Spirit of teamwork. Can and, I siphon uh, off some of? Can I siphon off some of that twenty to yeah, grab Prudence midair well, and get her across? <laughs> but, 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 but maybe first we should just check in on Merylwen and see okay. how. Oh, I'm sorry, Merylwen. I'm waiting and watching what everyone else does. I'm not oh, jumping okay. across six foot. Not jumping. Oh, okay. oh, fine, <laughs> I thought then. we were all going to jump I... together and it was going to be cool. I was like, no. So we I, la- I, I land on the other side and I say, there you go, jump. see, when we work as a team and I look around, oh, Prudence is gone and Meryl <laughs> still on the I'm other side. I'm going to say, yeah, like, Prudence, it was the, she's not going. That They should be like, what the, the oh, oh, I stumbled, um, I stumbled. You start to fall. Um, make me Let a go of dex, the rope, Bob. Make me a dex saving throw, please. A dex saving throw, okay. Yeah. All right. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, that's a 13. Okay. Um, you... Yeah, you don't fall into the pit, but you kind of like, like, hit the. I'm still um, sticky from sides. spider climb, so maybe. I can <laughs> oh, okay. So, you, but you kind of you clunk your chin against the um, the Ow. the floor, and mm. you sort of give your tongue a little nip. Ow. So you're like, da, 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 da. I'm okay. I'm okay. You take <laughs> two points, points well, of, I'd imagine. Mm, yeah, two, two, points two points of of, of, of two points of tongue damage. Two points of, well, it's technically bite damage. The damage has been done to the tongue. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Oh, okay. My tongue is oh, damaged. Me. Two points of it. Yeah. Bob's still standing there, not sure whether keep he's ho- allowed keep to hold release of that his rope. bowels like or every- not. Yeah. <laughs> like- <laughs> okay, someone help Prudence first. Well, yeah, did I describe the cool thing that happened with my 20? Oh, oh I'm sorry. Yeah. Oh. Uh, it's, um, <laughs> it's, a, it's a one and a half somersault uh, with a tuck. Thanks. Um, Can I scoot Prudence up to help her up in the same motion? 
I think it timing wise, probably not. I'm gonna so, say, sorry, Meryl, no. are you the DM? But you <laughs> land, you la- you land like very elegantly in front of her in a in a like in a cool crouch that can also turn into a hand for help. All right, here you go. Thank you. you. <laughs> you seem to have two points of damage in your tongue, by which I mean two teeth holes in your tongue. Yes, I do. It's I very painful. That. But you've already got inspiration. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'm like, right. Oh yeah, I've uh, just bit two little fang holes in my tongue. Mm-hmm. Like yeah. Punch. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's probably like. Oh, Egbert will stick his finger in one of those holes if. Uh, no. If you want that. no. <laughs> Thank you. Thank Healing you, hands. I'm fine. <laughs> the doctor is in your tongue. <laughs> Um, hey, but reaches down. <laughs> <laughs> Let me heal you. Um, Bob is visibly relieved that you're all there. So I'm very glad you're safe. But look, I could have tied it to a tree. Look, this is all fine. There is a clearing in front of. Well, not a clearing. I'm there still is the um, other side. Yeah. Oh. No. Merylwen still. Jump with the team, Merylwen. Merylwen, are want, you coming right, or not? Merylwen. Can you guys Merylwen? hold on to the rope, please? Yeah. Or hold on to the rope together. Help I Bob. Held on. Let's hold and on then Bob. I get my bow and I hook it over and I zip oh, the line across cool. because it was cool. going from the ceiling and that was my original plan. But then you all fell over and poor Prudence <laughs> got a tongue hole oh, punched. Everyone listen to Meryl win more. <laughs> okay. um, make me a dex acrobatics check and uh, don't Did whiff you not it. See my one and a half somersaults. With a tuck. Okay, yeah, that a is French tuck. a 14. <laughs> 14, yes, you, you do exactly what you planned to do. Uh, and it is graceful and cool. And Bob is like, whoa! Thank you, Bob. Nice to but... feel appreciated. <laughs> yeah, I'd, I, I suppose adventuring is a tough life. It, it may feel like sometimes you go underappreciated, maybe. Mm-hmm. Especially here in a dungeon where no one can witness your deeds. Exactly. Look, all of us are doing really cool things and we're the only ones that get to see it. And I think that's a real shame. I suppose that's why, you know, bards are always singing songs about things that other people weren't there for. Yeah. Yeah. So that's why I'm always dropping into a full splits. (laughs) (laughs) I have noticed that about you, yeah. Um, But, I mean, this bit seems all right, though. Um, Whoa, Bob. Hold hold back. There is a small... The room is basically full of uh, trees that, um, in their leaves and flowers, are like bioluminescent. Um, they're beautiful. It's kind of like a really nice, sort of softly lit neon garden. Um, like it's it's sort of like yeah, a very tasteful, lovely decor. Um, and there's a path that cuts right through the middle of um, of these trees. You can't see where it ends up, but it appears to. Um, um, I mean, you assume it leads onward. Meryl, then, um, can you help me just, like, drop to the ground and... Uh, are you curious about how these trees are growing? What are they eating? What are they feeding yeah, down here I in the really dark? Yeah, I am really confused. So I would like to cast Speak out. With Plants and yes! talk to okay. one of these trees and find out how they're able to grow down here. Yeah, sure. Um, okay. Watch this, Bob. It's gonna be real cool. I don't Meryl, know how cool you, it looks. You, I mean, you, won't, you won't be able to. You won't be able to hear the responses. But ju- yeah. rest assured, I'm it is. She hasn't lost myself. her mind. <laughs> yes. Rest assured, the tree is talking back to her. Okay. It's a druid thing. Mm-hmm. Remember um, this, yeah, so I... nothing that comes after will seem mm-hmm. wondrous. <laughs> <laughs> well basically um, I can imbue plants within 30 feet of me with limited sentience and animation giving me okay. the ability to communicate with me so I can talk to all of the trees at once if I want if, all of them at once yeah. if, if, if our DM fancies doing different voices uh, why not Bob you're going to want to engage all of the muscles keeping your bodily waste in check because this is going <laughs> to this is going to be wild I've never had to think that consciously about them before. They've sort of always just done their job. Is that an adventurer thing, or is that just a yeah, you, just a weird obsession? You all, no, have. all adventurers. Oh, yeah. oh okay, all right. Great. Yeah, In the sure. adventurer life, Bob, the default is loose. You've got to, <laughs> Great. You've got to be consciously keeping it in. <laughs> well, okay, sure. Um, Marilyn, you you 
Um, <laughs> it's relaxed, pal. <laughs> are you are you imbuing <laughs> as many plants as you can with? Um, yeah, just with... like I cast a thirty foot radius around the space that we're in, basically mm -hmm. like within the cavern, and I'm, I reach out to them and I'm like, um, "Hello there, uh, I'm Merowyn, and I just want to know how how are you growing down here? Are you guys okay?" Hello, darling, says an entire clearing of, of, of bioluminescent trees and uh, some moss that goes like, hello. Ah, uh, the moss. Hello. Um, I, how, how are you growing down here? Say what we normally do, mate. Yeah, but like, where are you getting your nutrients from? Like this place has been abandoned for years, and yeah, but we've 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 worked our way through the uh, through the, uh, the the flagstones in the floor, haven't we? Uh, Technically, okay. I'm not even a plant; I'm a fruit. See, I belong to a much larger body, a mycelium we call it in the common. You see, which Bob, means that super actually cool. most of my. <laughs> To, like cut to Bob's perspective and Meryl is just talking and then just going ah. so, so actually pretty much all the organism that you're uh, sort of communicating with lives below the dungeon at least we are not but glowy glowy fruit ah so do you use your glowy fruit in order to you know that's the light that you use for your like photosynthesis and such ah we don't photosynthesize oh just wait, the Bob. Bio, it's about to get really cool. The bioluminescence <laughs> is just, a, you know, a product of us being fruit. We may look like trees, but that's just a fantastical rendering of what is actually a type of fungus. Oh, Everyone's learning really useful stuff. Hey, guys, guys. The, yeah. Any minute we're now, going to have a nice time because uh, these are fun guys. Yeah, Any really minute now, Meryl Wen. But Meryl Wen, what was the information, Meryl Wen? Uh, what you you it? What's going on in this mine? Right. Okay. So the, these these they look like trees, but basically they're, they're like fungi. They're, they're like mushrooms. Okay. So oh, like that's mushrooms. why they're able to survive down here, and they they make glowy Good. fruits. Um, right. Hey, uh, could you could you guys do, do you know what is further along the way? Um, could you can you reach out to your your other fellow fungi and see what what is uh, waiting for us? Because we, we'd like to follow this path, but is it safe? Yeah. All right. They tune out and commune with the mycelium. You go, uh, there's more path, more of us, and then there's a sharp right, and then second a sharp left right, everyone. is second um, left. another door. Sharp and um, right. in between there, there's lots more of us, a little bit more moss, a lot of bees. 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 Okay. Big door. More trees and bees. bees. Many okay. bees, Marilyn. There were bees. So, right. Bees. Okay. All right. Thanks, guys. Corazon's I not think... on board. Right. So there's... For the first there's time bees. ever, Corazon's not on board with bees. <laughs> with bees. All right. So, right. We've got to walk along. There's a sharp right. And then a second left. Then there's a big door. Through there, there's more of these guys. And then uh, there's some bees. Okay. All right. So, Please. but there doesn't right. seem. Uh, have it, do you know if there's any like traps or anything? Have you guys fallen into any trouble because of where you've grown? Nah, mate. We All grow right. where we want. Okay. We grow where we want. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, but no, right. it's just like bees have taken residence in our. Well, they're not branches technically. Uh, you call that a gill. Right, or if they're yeah. in the trunk, I suppose you'd actually call that the stipe. Right. But, um, yeah, it's just a lot of bees jealously guarding this patch. You so much to step foot on the platform, or platform on the path, or off the path. You come in any closer, basically, you're going to be mobbed by bees. Okay. Right, so like okay. anywhere Loads on this path. Oh yeah, one along. step further, you're going to be mobbed by bees, mate. All right, Okay. Folks. It's you just a lot of bees. I've spent a lot right. of time sleeping out in the wilderness and mm -hmm. you wouldn't believe how many times I've been enjoying a peaceful nap when all of a sudden a bee's nest falls on my face. <laughs> and okay. I've seen it. This feels like a real dob thing. And yeah. I run around mm -hmm. with the bee's nest on my head mm -hmm. uh, 
Sometimes banging into trees. <laughs> yeah. Banging into, yeah. Okay. The solution, bees yes. hate smoke. Uh, so yeah. uh, I would like to take one of the torches that we have and just... Um, Corazon, you always have a little grease handy. We don't know exactly where of you it comes out of, but squirt oh, a little bit onto my... <laughs> squirt a little of your um, grease onto onto this torch mm. basically get like a, a sort of fatty grease burning all right smoke you know okay well i turn mm -hmm. i turn around for privacy and <laughs> I express can't do it with yeah. you watching express we all grease. look away because because corazon can't yeah, do it. yeah. exactly Bob, don't look Bob, I, hold, yeah. I hold out i hold out the torch though onto the the corazon to express yeah. onto and then i'll express some grease <laughs> onto the <laughs> what's happening I don't, don't like don't it. Secretions, Bob. Bob. Secretions is what's yeah. happening. What? Is that an adventurous this, thing? Yes. This is 90% yeah. of the job right here. Bob. Do you get to pick your secretion? It yes. depends. Yeah, it depends. He chose, on what... the, he chose this power. Grease is actually a very good... Um, it's an underrated spell, Bob. It gets okay. a bad rap, but it's actually very good for zone control during combat. G-R-E-A-S-E. Okay. Yeah. So All right, Bob. We'll yeah. talk later. It's fine. So, uh, okay. The, the torch is now presumably giving off big cl clouds of stinking grease. Greasy smoke. Uh, smoke. Yep. So, all right, everyone stick close to me in my grease cloud. Mm. Okay. Yeah. And I would like to, uh, uh, like, hold your, it's going to smell terrible, but just. Oh. <laughs> okay, all right. I cluster up around Dob in mm -hmm. his terrible grease cloud. Yeah. Yep. Mm. Yeah, I'm coming in close. Yeah, yeah, we're all in. We're all in. Bob Get in, gets Bob. It as well. Okay. All right. Let's shuffle. Shuffle as fast as we can. But quickly, all right. yeah. And I just, as as we go, I just keep just blowing okay. on the, the greasy fire just to keep the smoke. The moment you set foot, you take one step forward, you hear a as if, you know, a, a thousand angry bees are coming to sting you because they are. It really is a lot of bees, but they keep kind of going like, nyeh, nyeh, and it's almost like there's a, a window between you. They keep just kind of butting up against the smoke, and they don't like Good thinking, it. Dob. So you are mm. kind of just parting uh, the the red the bee. Uh, yeah, <laughs> um, uh, you're you're just like parting this this like mass of bees. Um, the uh, like uh, Meryl, when you could just hear all of these. Mushrooms be like, ah, oh, bloody hell, that stinks. Well, you want to put that out, darling? What, uh, what are you doing? Here, how come you're not being stung to death by a thousand angry bees? <laughs> uh, they're just they're just making a lot of noise. Um, <laughs> like an awful okay. lot. Okay. Like, yeah, come on. Blah, blah, blah. Um, Good working, Dob. Nice one. Just, yeah, what would be the best skill for this? Keep doing whatever you're doing, Dob. It's going great. Stay the course. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, I guess dex, dex acrobatics for this, please, Dub. Ha. Huh. Nineteen. Yeah. Lovely. <laughs> you do not. I balance the, the torch uh, on the end of the thing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that sounds showy. Back to back to prudence said, stay the course and stay the course. Yeah. I will. Uh, yeah, but you don't set any of the um, the the trees on fire. Good. Which well is, done, Dob. I think we can all agree, great news. Um, That's how low the bar is for a Dob success. <laughs> 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 Nothing goes on fire. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you eventually you make it around a sharp right bend. Um, Good. You can... The uh, the the sort of the giant tree mushrooms around you are silent, but you can still hear the ones from further back being like, "No, we're nice, we not I? Like, oh, uh, I don't like know why they've got that man going around with them, though. He seems a little bit. Uh, and someone else goes, "Ah, oh, ballast, mate. <laughs> Typical adventurous <laughs> thing." And uh, the moss pipes up and goes, "Ah, oh, good job not telling them that we mostly derive our nutrients from people who've been stung to death." By all the bees. <laughs> they make excellent substrate, you know. <laughs> um, substrate, you yeah. know. Oh, yeah. Oh. I'm glad they told us about the bees, because if the bees had got us, they would have eaten us, just so you know. I can hear, still hear them, guys. It's trees. Why did you, the bees would have eaten us. No, the bee, bees would have killed That's us. That's ridiculous, Meryl. They wouldn't have eaten yeah. How's a bee I mean, going to eat us? They've, their mouths are no, too small. No, it would take them forever. You'd rot completely to a skeleton by the time they manage to eat As far as I understand it, bees eat honey. 
So yeah, no, I'm I'm with I'm with him on this one. No, 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 Bob, Bob. The, the bees would have killed us, and then as we had de- deteriorated, all these trees around us. And here we are. Ah, fungus. Oh, the trees <laughs> would have. Oh, here we are. Uh. <laughs> But if you're dead, you're not really going to care, are you? Whether you're eaten by a fungus or not. You're gonna I eat would you rather not be eaten by a fungus, I think. Yeah, if what, how am I going to introduce myself in hell? Oh, hello, I was killed by a fungus. No, you, you weren't killed by a fungus, bees. you were killed by bees. Eaten by a fungus. But then just eaten your... by a fungus. Oh yeah, that'll be better, won't it? Oh yeah, <laughs> all the other pirate kings in hell, they're really going to love that at the table, aren't they? The laughing stock. Um, you, um, you go through a doorway... Um, it is not. There is no actual door. It is just an alcove into uh, the next room, which is pitch black. Until I hold my big smoky torch out. Oh yeah, you've got torches. Um, yes, uh, you. Uh, good, my night vision's working. <laughs> <laughs> As you enter the room, you um, you do actually see kind of like off in the darkness there are other torches kind of set about the room. And you're kind of looking around to find a way to to light them when they actually just take flame themselves. Um, there's sort of a green flash that kind of dissipates in an acrid smoke. And then uh, there are torches. Um, all of them are kind of, you know when you get uh, those like oil lamps that are glass bulbs mm-hmm. with a wick? Mm-hmm. They're like very large versions of those, but the bottoms are not. Uh, flat. These are just perfectly round, um, with hmm. flames coming off the top, and they're all kind of there, but they're all just placed on beams around the room. Um, they seem very precarious in their in their placement. Um, apart from that, uh, the floor seems perfectly normal, and it's just uh, there's sort of a table at the far end with. Um, uh, some provisions that have like long since moulded. There's a weapon rack. Uh, there seems like it might have been some form of guard post at some point. You're not entirely certain. Bob sort of says, "This, this. I'm guessing this is old hat to you as well. The weird globe lamps and the. You probably oh, yeah. got this all. Not yeah, what yeah, I've seen, seen before. before you really? Have Corazon? But that's." I want to look like we don't know what's going on. Oh, right. <laughs> he'll think we're he'll think we're total noobs. Oh, okay. No, well, the, no. What you've got beams, here, Bob, is your classic. Uh, are the, the, the beams with the glow globes on? Are they horizontal or are they? Yes. Like, yeah. I'd like I'm to go and investigate beam. one of these glow globes while sort of confidently. Glow globe. Glow globe. While confidently exuding an aura of um, knowledge and wisdom. Okay. Oh um, yeah, so Bob. What you got here is. Um, so the uh, the the nearest globe is like a little way across the floor. The uh, the beam it's on is probably about. It's not. It's not. You can probably reach it on tiptoes. So you you start to move over. Um, you take a step onto the floor, and there is a, a like a oh, noise underneath oh. you. And, about this and the um, the. It's like it doesn't seem to really be doing much. It's not like the pressure plate room, but the mm. the tile does sink oh. down ever so slightly for a second, um, and you hear uh-huh. sort of a hop backwards, a splintering noise, almost as if there were something beneath that has now been broken. And make me a wisdom perception check, please. Okay. Uh, that's seventeen plus two. Uh, plus three, so that's twenty-two. Okay. Um, the in the sort of the soft light, the edges of the tile you just stepped on, sort of in in where the grouting would be, um, they start reflecting the light in a sort of slick, like oily sort of way. Um, so there's lots of oil below the floor and lots of. Flammable things. Yeah, that's probably highly flammable, floor. I would say. Mm-hmm. Then we just don't set it on fire. We can not. Yeah, we set just it on have fire. to be really careful There's around all these There's probably a trap in right? here that'll trigger set some flames. Yeah. Maybe we're sp- maybe it's that we're supposed to walk along the beams and not knock things over as we go. 
Oh, ah. like a balance thing. Like a dexterity yeah. challenge. Mm. Just to let you know, you've got sort of room here, the walls uh -huh. going ahead, and these things are literally just like pokey bits of wood sticking out. They don't mm. run across the room. Okay. Oh, okay. Right, 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 they don't run the length. Okay. Right, right. Um, they are just sort of all of them there. I, I think we should. I think we should uh, figure out what's on the wall we haven't seen. Um, it, it, do we? Is there a, another door? Is there a? If we proceed sort of further into the the room, is there anything? Oh, the far wall. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, the far wall um, is uh, actually a lot grander than just just a door. <laughs> it's uh, it is double doors, um, <laughs> but with like a very large sort of ornate um, sort of frame. That has sort of like carved, um, uh, like in quite high relief, uh, like you know, like a lion's head and other sort of important-looking carvings. They're hard to make out from where you are because this room is like it's about like thirty meters long. Okay. Corazon. Um, yeah. Can you get any spyglass action on those? Uh... Yeah, I can. I can have a look oh, yeah. from here. Me just oh oh wait hang on i've got a better idea prudence use your dark vision combined with uh your i've got a spyglass dob i'm already looking no, through it... it all right chorus just, just the murky darkness i wasn't gonna say dob <laughs> i did i discreetly cast a clairvoyance sensor across the room okay. mm. <laughs> i cast da i cast dancing lights 120 feet ahead of me to illuminate the area around what i'm looking at <laughs> Both of you see. The other side of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> Both of you see with great clarity. Um, it is. It's just a. Ve it's a very ornate sort of door frame with, uh, yeah, like I say, a lion's head and, um, you know, there's like a, a rampant stag and um, some mushrooms and things. It doesn't seem to have any sort of great significance to. More decorative than. Yes, Let but me it. We want you to know, get over there. We want to get through that door. We don't want to touch this floor, and we don't want to knock over any of these jars. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. Why do we, Why is it so important that we don't touch the floor? Just because it's, it's cracking and oil. releasing oil, and clearly but that's only a problem if we uh, drop the fire. But what if it becomes a problem halfway across, Dob? <laughs> <laughs> well, that's a problem for halfway across, Dob. <laughs> so wait, th there's no like mechanisms. There's no obvious like um, I don't know locks or buttons or gems or anything on the far wall nope. it's just that if anything okay. shapes but there's a double door right okay yep. yeah right and the, the globes are yeah they're globes so they're balanced very precariously and if if anything were to shake them they would probably fall and set the oil yes on fire. you in fact if you look at the one nearest to uh the one Coruscant was heading for you can see it that sort of from the uh the oil level inside is rocking ever so slightly from the mm. crunch. Merylwen, how much water can you make? What if you flooded the room? Oh wait, oil floats, doesn't it? No. But we yeah. can go That's underwater. Thing. I did think <gasps> yes! of. Burn huh? it all, but but fill it, fill it with water, burn the oil on the top of the water, and we swim coolly under <laughs> the burning deep. surface. <laughs> it will look the, awesome. How deep is the the thing below, like with the oil in it? Oh, we don't know, do we? It's just we can tell. We're, oh, you mean how much oil is there? Yeah, if it's deep, the oil we can will swim always. Through, but we can't but the oil will always float, right? We'd be swimming through the created water. How much right, water they're, can they're I created? can make? Ten in... gallons of water. I don't think I can but quite fill a like like corridor. Right? Yeah. Eighty pints. Shallow. Yeah. Um, mm. Good but, thinking, though. Yeah, that's a great plan. I. Bob, what have you got? Can Bob, you do you have anything for this? Ten gallons of water. I no, gosh, no. Uh, I was what I was going to say was that uh, this just reminds me of um, uh, there was a, you know, very ex exciting stories my um, my my grandfather used to tell us when we were kids um, about how they um, you know, there was a, 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 a William uh, who was a prisoner and they um, they bust him out of jail and then actually in the sequel where his brother William. Uh, was bust out of jail. They they did us the same thing. They used water to float deadly oil to the surface, and they they got under it. It was um, yeah, like Free Willy Two was a, a really great story. <laughs> I loved it very much <laughs> as a child. A classic. Yes. Of the genre. Mm. Just you all of it on that fire. Free Willy Two went underneath. Yeah. You know, oh, you've heard right. it. Oh, great, great, great ballad. Oh, really good ballad. Right. 
I, I, yeah. You Let's wrote free Willy yeah. too. <laughs> no, I, I, yeah. I actually wrote the um, straight to. I wrote the straight to video. Um, I wrote the, the, the song. The, yeah, I wrote the three call. I was commissioned to r- yeah. write uh, uh, the, the, free the, the, Willy the, three. The, the, oh, the free Willy three. <laughs> yeah. Straight to video. They'll read anything in video. Yeah, that yeah. Jerks. <laughs> the third one was an Orca Wood encounter. It was it's the subtitle. Oh god, yeah, well they had to get him out of the forest. Yeah. Before exactly. he stopped breathing. Before, before he started to smell. Right <laughs> out. Yeah. All right, right. Well, okay. let's do the water's floating oil burning. No, we don't have enough water. <laughs> it's only Why like ankle not? deep. I can't Ten make gallons. But how how long would it take for you to create all of it? Yeah, how, how often can you... How do you reach... What's the recharge yeah. time? What's the recharge time? What's the cool, down? Uh, <laughs> what's the cool down creating 10 gallons of what water, Merowyn? What if we just keep Merowyn oh, so wait, hydrated? Wait. If I have... Mm, no, if I, I've not got it on a high, high enough spell level. Um, Egbert, I'm going to... Hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. Egbert, can you just can teleport you across to the door yeah. and, like, open it? 30 metres, can you... 30 uh, metres? I'll have a look. Egbert... Check your paladin spell list because there's probably only, a, only thirty feet. Is, is there an evaporate like oil spell or something? Oil, yeah. yeah. Okay. How about this? How yeah, about this? Go, go. We don't Let's need to create enough water for us all to be submerged under if we are all strapped to the ceiling, because <gasps> we can just create a very thin layer of water that all the oil will float up on top of, maybe just a few inches high. Right. We can ignite. We can ignite that. It'll still burn off. Then we can drop down safely. Do you know when you suspend something over an open flame? Do you know what happens to it? (laughs) It gets nice and warm. (laughs) More than nice and warm. (laughs) We could have a reservoir of oil that goes to the centre of the planet down here. They could have been mined for oil. Do you mind for oil? (laughs) Bob Bob looks at you and goes, Gets flat. Oh yeah, that's a good point. You know. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's a flat geth truth. Um, oh boy, I would like Bob, to you were doing so well. What? <laughs> I'd like oh. to look. Uh, what? At, oh. At, yes. At where um, Corazon um, cracked, where the oil came through, and I'd just like mm. to like dip, dip, uh, uh, take one of my arrows mm-hmm. and just dip it in, just see how deep it is. Okay. Yeah. Sure. Just carefully in where it's already cracked. You're about to lose the arrow when, like, with the last sort mm. of centimetre, you, okay. like... Right. You feel like a little tunk. Okay. That's a lot what of oil. What I would like to do... <laughs> Wait in a minute. I can... what? So on, we're looking at about two, two and a half feet. Why don't we put out all the fires? What? Set it on fire and then put them out? No, no, no. No, no, like, you mean the globes. Oh, the what globes. We... Extinguish the globes. How are we going to do that? We could just pour a little, uh, create a little water above them. Pour a little wine skin over. Oh, I can, the... um, I can, <laughs> like, I can make it rain. Literally Create a rain. heavy rain. Yeah, let's, let's create, yeah. It, they, they, Would you give they, it a go? They were, like, magically they, ignited, they're weren't they? Are they, are they ignited? They're globes. Are they completely covered? Yeah. I've just realised I was completely imagining, I don't know why, a little funnel in the top, which is my bad, because that wasn't described. (laughs) No, these are like, literally, if you can imagine uh, like a perfectly round jar, then with a lid and a wick coming through it. Mm. Okay. 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 It's magic. What if I were to pick them up with Mage Hand and place them safely on the floor over here? What if we just walk not clumsily? What What if if you just just walk not clumsily and then we see if you die, dog? How about that? All right. I I sorry to defend Corazon. Today. It was the cat-like <laughs> tread today. of the party rogue. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. Right. Uh, and it was fine because you because the the, the thing didn't. Okay. okay. What, right. Right. I just I reckon we're gonna get halfway across and then all the globes are gonna fall okay. at once for some yeah. reason and we're gonna be incinerated, right. dog. Right. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna pitch one more idea. Uh, we go along the ceiling. Prudence carries us all. Spider climbs us all across. Okay. I love it. Yep. Let's do it. Prudence back and forth, spider climb. All right. Spider climb ferry. All right, spider climb ferry. Yeah, okay, fine. I can I can manage one of you, I reckon. What's a spider my... climb ferry? Spider climb ferry. It's You're about to find out. It's, it's, it's a spider climb piggyback. Of transport. It's quite scary, but not. As, it, there's no actual spiders. What I'm going to do is... um. 
Oh, actually, I can imbue Spider Climb on somebody else. Good news, folks. <laughs> <laughs> Until the spell ends, one willing creature you touch gains the ability to move up, down, and across vertical surfaces and upside down along ceilings while leaving its hands free. That's the only one, also right? also gains a climbing speed equal to its walking speed. But yeah, but what if I just... Imbue oh, I guess... Egbert, the strongest of us. How long and he does it last? Hoist us all up, up on his hour. mighty... Up to an hour. Arms. Well, in that case, I'm going to use my Spider Climb on the strongest person in the party... Who I believe is you, Egbert. Yes, what? I will lift you all. <laughs> I will bundle you all up and carry you to okay, safety. Let's, let's make What's a your sort max, of improvised deadlift? rope net out of our 50 feet of hemp and ropes. I would like and to weave up a weave up a net. Weave up a, weave up a, a net, net for us. us. Yeah. <laughs> all right. Okay. How is I, she? I grab, <laughs> I grab She's Egbert fine. She, by and, she and Max deadlift are getting married. <laughs> <laughs> I grab uh, Egbert I'm by the shoulders Max and shake him vigorously. This is part of it, Egbert. Okay. <laughs> this is part of the spider climbing. And then if I've, you say so. him with, I've, I've imbued him with spider climbing. Oh, the material is actually a drop of bitumen, which I have in my pack, and right. an actual spider. So I, I drop a spider oh, on I'm Egbert's of spiders. head. Oh. Just hook it into his mouth. Yeah, oh. there you go. Oh. Open, open. And then I hold his jaw, I hold his shell closed oh, no. over. Rub his throat oh, no. until it goes down. <laughs> Go on. Mm. All right, and the bitumen Then you give him a well. bit of cheese. I like the bitumen. <laughs> yeah, yeah the bitumen's a treat. Cheese. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. All right, good. No. Cool, fine. He's spider climb ready. All right, and I've made, I've, I've, uh, I've laid out um, uh, 20 uh, identical length strands of, of rope in a, in a sort of grid pattern and knotted each not each connection and um is that going on my back while i spider climb along the, the roof well you can keep your arms you can use your arms right oh right yes you can so you i can, I, you... I climb like this by choice because it's spooky but you can okay. actually just <laughs> i can just walk up walk up like yeah yeah absolutely all, all right. right everyone into everyone into my safety sack <laughs> all right <laughs> do that thing bob get into dub's safety sack go okay. on Do uh, bob in you go we're all doing it all yeah no it's fine it's just there's quite a lot of arguing, and now we're saying the word safety sack. Which... <laughs> There's a lot of No one argued with the involved. safety sack. I, I, it's called I'm safety sack because it's so safe. I'm not trying to argue, I'm just... Being an adventurer seems... There's like a lot. How do you all do yeah. this? So just, We complain is... a lot less. <laughs> That's how no, we, we do don't. it. We complain right. all the time. Yeah, but we've we earned the right to complain. <laughs> okay, all right. He gets in the safety sack and sort of huddles up. I'm in the safety sack. All right. Okay, I right. also I huddle up in the in. safety sack. Same. Mm -hmm. All right. I'm yeah. in. Uh, make me a strength athletics check, please. Come on, Egbert. Egbert. Oh, here we go. Unassisted chin up. That is a 16 plus 4, so that is a dirty 20. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. Um, Hurr! Hurr! Um, growling all the way, you... Um, Not too loud, though, because I don't want to rumble anything off with my loud growls. Oh, yeah. You're a powerful baritone, <laughs> yeah. Shouts. Yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you, yeah, you just casually head over Aww. over the ceiling. We're, like, swinging in the safety yep. sack below. Not swinging Halfway too across. much, though. No, no. Bob is, Bob is again, slightly. like, but... I mean, look at this. I mean, like... If you could just bypass the traps like this, why do they bother? I mean, it's maybe they were terrible. Not at just traps anyone can involved. bypass the traps, yeah, Bob. We're, good at this. we're very skilled. Yeah, oh, I know. Well, okay, you... please stop complaining and just be glad that I didn't have to roll for the safety sack integrity. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> we're, very, we're very skilled, oh. I say, nestled in my safety sack. I hadn't even thought of that. Yes, very that cool. is a good thing, isn't it? Very cool. That's very. That's fortunate. Yeah, uh, you reach the other side. Still holding. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There we go. Can that be merch? A big safety sack. <laughs> <laughs> uh, there's Just a safety literal. beanie. That's true. There is. Safety it's sack. The, yeah. In Complete front, the set. it's a backpack. <laughs> beanie plus sack bundle. <laughs> it's a bundle. <laughs> you reach right. the other side. Hooray! Lower us carefully, but yep. descend, dismount from the ceiling. Well, I just walk along down. until I get to the, down the other, other wall side. and then down the yeah, other yeah, wall. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Yeah. Very slowly. Cool. We don't um, have to get out the safety sack either, you know, like we could do... I can just drag yeah, you through the rest the of the dungeon if you want. Sure, yeah. It's practically tradition at this point <laughs> for the NPC to stay in, so he does. Um, you reach the, the ornate door. Um, there's a stone lion, as I said, carved above it. I forgot it my blinks. wallet. 
It was on the other side. <laughs> well, you're just, no, you're just going to have to cancel your cards now, don't worry. Sorry. Oh. It's all right. It was, it was quite stone... a lot of gold in it, but it's okay. Yeah, eh, whatever. The stone line blinks and goes, uh, no. who goes there? Sad so Bob. Wait. I'm Prudence. And I'm, I'm Meryl Wen. Hello. Egbert, hi. Corazon Egbert. And, uh, Corazon, hi. Dob, hi. Dob. Oh, Dob and Bob. Yeah. Is that not a little um, confusing? Or? Yes, for the moment, been. but, you know. It's oh. a funny story, actually. That's how we came to know Bob. It, we'll tell it, it's for another time. All right. Who are you? I'm a big stone line. Yeah, I mean, you yes. The what do you of this door? What's your What's your purpose? Well, I, I, I'm part of the door, I suppose. I, Can we go may through we the door? Enter? Oh yeah, yeah. I was just curious. Oh. oh. I don't get to talk to many people around here. Do they normally die further? Oh on? yes, horror. Mm. Hor yeah. Mm. Yeah. As you the probably guessed, we're amazing normally, yeah. adventurers. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, yeah, thanks right. for taking an interest. Yeah. That's all right. Um, Anything we should know about what's beyond the door? Oh, you've... No, this is... This is you've reached the end here. Oh. Uh, oh. There's um, uh, some uh, gold. Treasure. Oh. See, yeah, yeah, treasure. What? You'd call it uh, jewels. Yeah, of course. Um, uh, it's a nice, uh, nice rake. In there. Oh, really? Bob, well, Bob will be pleased. Oh, uh, uh, I, I elbow Bob in the ribs. I'm like, yeah? huh? Huh? There's a oh, there's a there's a big font of uh, of power in there. Are <gasps> there any of you, um, you know, magic users? Yeah. Uh, well, I didn't want to say anything. Yes. I drop into oh, a four right. split. <laughs> oh, right. Only on um, there's a. <laughs> Sort of like a little little font in the wall, as I say. Um, yes, yes. Full of sort of a, a glowing blue water. Um, Interesting. And what would one uh, theoretically would one drink that font? Drink from that font to imbue yeah, himself to, with to, incredible yeah, power. Incredible power, yeah, yeah. Nice, 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 nice. Yeah. Okay, let's go. Let's go. But uh, let's well, hurry. well. Oh, oh, okay. Well. Oh no no! Say, what are you going to say? Wait, finish your thought. No, I was going to say well, stone. well no. done. You. No one's Sorry. made it this this far. Like I say, the I... bees are the... Do you mind if name? I ask you, detain you for one more moment, Mr. Lion? Sure. Um, did this... This place used to be a mine. Do any of these yeah. renovations strike you as a little odd? What kind of mine uh, is mining for the font of... A font of power? Yeah, no, I'd, I'd, you know, I'd never really uh, thought of that. When, but, when uh, were you installed? We, do you yeah. remember this being a mine? Uh, yeah, I was. I suppose this is what you'd call the um, sort of the, the sort of the, the the stronghold of the mine. Where you know, if they weren't taking it up, then they were just storing it in in here. But um, of course, when it became a dungeon, then um, got all of this. He has a and paw, it... by the way. That's why he's gesticulating. He's a <laughs> lion's head with a paw. Um, it... you know. It's, it's, you know, it's a dungeon. You can't just have a dungeon that's a mine. It's And when you say became a dungeon Yeah. Was that a management thing or no, just, you know, and sometimes a mine, mine just goes sour, you know, they dig too deep or um sure. too greedy. You know, someone dies greedy. in a cave in yeah. and yeah, you know, they're too 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 greedy as you say. Yeah, no, it just uh became a dungeon. Huh? Happens. Well. You know. Their All losses right. are gain. Let's get Absolutely. in there. Milk turns, apples rot, mines become dungeons. Fair. Yeah, yeah. Circle you know, sure, life, as, of life. sure as there are two suns and one very normal seeming moon. Mm -hmm. It's just a fact of nature. Yeah. Alright. Well, I'm ready to drink from deep from the font of power. Let's yeah, me go. first. Let's go. Yeah. Uh, charging. Well, by, by the way, uh, Mr. Lyne, what, what, what's your name? Sorry, we, we introduced ourselves but didn't ask about you. Oh, no one ever saw fit to to give me one, I'm just the lion in the room in which everyone burns to death. Oh, that's a good name, a fine name. Yep. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Yep. All right, let's Bernie. go. You should be Bernie. Bernie. Yeah, Bernie. Oh, Bernie. Bernie. Like Bernie. Bernie. Yeah. the lion. Bernie. 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 Well, yeah. I, you know, I do, everybody says they like Bernie, and then, well, then they burn to death. Then they burn to death. Is that what you're saying? Yeah. 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 Oh. Okay. Yeah. Well. 
All right, let's go. Nice to Thank meet you. you. Well, nice to meet you, Bernie. Nice All right. We'll yep. probably see you on the way out. I mean, this is unless I'm a hoping there's a more convenient we'll be, exit yeah. on the other side. Yeah, yeah. I mean, there probably will be a lever that we pull that takes us out. In There'll be a door certainly. leading yeah. back outside. Oh, there will be. It'll lead not, into a supermarket. Yeah, in town, I've not, probably. I've okay. not had, a, yeah, I've not had any chance to look in myself because I'm a stone uh, you're a looking out and, onto yeah. the room. Okay. But, uh, yeah, no, well, have we fun. Almost, we almost certainly <laughs> won't come back this way. In that. That's case, fine. No, so. it's first, you know. I fist bump well, his paw on the way out. Good luck to you. Yeah. Easy. <laughs> All right. <laughs> he clenches a bit, and the door just poof pops open. All right, push open the double doors. Into the treasure hold. It's as the he treasury. described. There's a lot of gold in here. It's like sort of large, sort of really like, uh, s like sacks of gold straining at the seams. Um, there is a very ornate rake, just sort of in a lovely, <laughs> like uh, on a lovely pedestal. Um, there are half a dozen bows. I go look at the bows. <laughs> middling <laughs> quality. No, they are, they're, like they're nice, but you're like uh, my one's nicer. Yeah, your one's nicer. My which one's makes, like you glad, makes you glad. Makes you glad of your one. own bow. Oh, yeah. you know, so like, dupes. Yeah. yeah <laughs> when you get a, <laughs> yeah, you know when you get a purple one, but actually the green one has better numbers. Yeah. yeah. It's like, oh. This yeah. one looks good. All of, yeah. Yeah. yeah mm -hmm. Exactly. Is that mm. exact kind of conundrum? So you can keep hold of one of the purple bows if you really, really want. There is just a small sort of uh, niche in the floor with a very stiff but flexible plank of wood above it uh, in case anyone wants to sort of just dive into a pool of coins. That's Aww. an option. Mm -hmm. um, I dive into a pool of coins. It, it, you uh, swim around <laughs> like Sir Scrooge of McDonald's. You are concussed. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you are concussed. No, yeah, sure. You, you're sort of doing the backstroke in a, in a bunch of coins. Uh, and nice. sure enough, at the back of the room, um, there is... Uh, so it, it looks like kind of a drinking font built into the wall. Uh, almost like there should be a tap above it, but it's just sort of there. And uh, you realise the room is illuminated entirely by this sort of electric blue glow coming from this uh, the fluid inside said font. And I bet it's given off loads of m magical emanations, right? Well, yeah, you don't even have to cast Detect Magic. It's, okay. you know... It's like it's cast send magic, having yep. message to yep. you. All right, Prudence, Bob. this seems that sounded funnier in my head. Carry on, <laughs> Prudence. This seems like a lot of a lot of power. Are you sure? Yeah, this is this is my money bin, Corazon. I, I'm this still is... doing the back. I spit out a plume yeah, of yeah, coins yeah, yeah, yeah. from my mouth. <laughs> yeah. Prudence, this um, is my swimming in coins. <laughs> I, I you you know that I'm no book learning magic nerd but um some folks say that that magic should be hard earned and 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 scarce won and i'm a warlock uh, cthulhu gave me my magic yeah i've always had I'd great like results from yeah. accepting whatever pact and getting magical powers from it yeah and, and have those around you have... always had great results <laughs> oh no oh no oh no how many adventuring parties have you been in previously <laughs> No parties. With a tenth right, okay. adventure. Just yeah. bystanders. <laughs> the rest of them died in horrible pain. Marilyn, what would you like to say before I drink the hell out of this font? <laughs> well, I'd just like to point out that I think it has been hard-earned, because we did just go through an entire dungeon to get to it. That's, That's right, true. we all hard-earned Prudence's font of ultimate magical power. I may even save you some, but... Mm -hmm. If no one's gonna stop me, I look for a golden cup somewhere in the treasure hoard, like a yeah. goblet or something. Yeah, you want sure. the I'm wooden, gonna... plain wooden one. I thought you were just gonna put your face in it. That's I'm what not I would gonna have drink done. it like a dog, Egbert. <laughs> it's gonna take a while to package up all this gold, presumably. Yeah. yeah. Bob's gonna kind of follow along working and on that. <laughs> have a good um, look at the font as well. But uh, sure, yeah, you find you find a cup of your choosing. Yeah, there we you go. Have a little. I look around for atonement. It's not there. Aww. I um as as Prudence goes like goes to dip the thing. I just want to stand in front of Bob. <laughs> <laughs> Bob's kind of craning to see what's Eldritch what's Club. going on. Uh, yeah, Prudence, you're gonna have a little. All right. Well, we. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, while you're packing up the gold, Corazon, you mind? I'm just gonna I'm just gonna scoop mm -hmm. a goblet full of. Magical juice. Prudence's mm -hmm. magic juice. Mm 
And, uh, cheers, everybody. Cheers. Cheers. Um, okay, cheers. Is everyone, does everyone think this is a good cheers. idea? Cheers. Cheers, cheers Prudence. Oh, yeah. More okay. Power. I sort of... You know best. Out of the, oh, Prudence. Yeah. I guess it Wait, I, fits what you want. I, I take a little look at the, the font. Is it, it, there's not like a skull on it, right? I mean, I'm normally all I mean, about skulls, but not yeah, on drinking it, supplies. No, it's no, it's not. It's, it actually yeah. looks very plain. Nice. Oh, well, here's my reward then. Here's my treasure. Here's my atonement. Here's my money bin. And then I down the hatch. No, down. We're no talking to her after this. Constitution <laughs> saving throw, please. Prudence. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well, obviously. I mean... It can't just be a goblet full of ultimate power, can it, now? I mean, so, it isn't It isn't not that. No, that's no true. Says it's that. very powerful. Very pa very powerful. All oh, right, okay. Uh, okay. Constitution saving throw. Oh, that's not bad. Go on, so bro. You're, you're 18. Wrestling to 18. Yes. <laughs> nice. Okie dokie. Um, I forgot two I things happen. Pretty good constitution. Yes. Number one, you feel uh, enormously fantastically imbued with magic and you have one of those moments whereby uh, it feels like all the doors uh, of perception are opened to you um, and <laughs> you're like oh I get it now like you think about all the other magic casters you know and you're like I I get it oh I get it I get it um, so I'm going to allow you to acquire one spell not from your own class Ooh. of level five or below. Okay, amazing. As, wait, yeah. not 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 spell level five because hang on because you're at like level three, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, so uh, spell level two or below, so not okay. a level three spell. But you can pick, cool. you can in your yeah. own time pick any of that. Yeah, etch um, it into my book of spells. Yeah, exactly. Um, so that's the first thing that happens. The second thing that happens is, is that you good. are, you just basically, you lock up. You're like, ah. Oh. And you feel entirely, you are completely paralysed. Like, ah. you can't even, uh, like, you, your eyes are just staring at a point um, straight ahead. Um, Unlimited power doesn't look that good, guys. I'm not, I'm not, I don't think it looks that great. But the strangest oh, thing happens. Um, you still have sort of sensation, but... You can feel um, something in the sort of satchel that you carry stirs and just rises out of it um, and kind of rolls down your leg. It's something spherical. And no. everyone looking on can see it's also something stone-like and completely black. Um, and it just rolls up and... Oh kind of no, it into went the in the font. font. Uh, and it sort of floats. You should have put bit. your face in it and drunk it all, like a dog. And like it, it like instantly in an, in a split second, it just oh, removes all the, power. all the power, all of the power from the font and all of the light oh. from the room. You are all of you plunged into a, into a complete it's darkness. That bloody orb from the museum. Yeah. Prudence, you are released from uh, your sense of paralysis at this point. Oh. Um, you are still feeling very magically imbued to the point where you think, actually, I don't think it was the magic drinky thing. I think it was the orb what done that just then. Huh. Um, but the room is, is still completely dark uh, until suddenly a low sort of purple light starts to build in the font. Um, and the room is illuminated in sort of a deep purple colour as on the orb, which was formerly smooth and obsidian, Little teeny tiny runes start to appear. Each rune contained oh. in a teeny tiny square, and all of them oh. suddenly raise up. Oh. So suddenly it's like you're looking at an enormous, almost like a puzzle box of oh. buttons <laughs> with weird eldritch symbols on them. Oh. And uh, it's everyone is is needless to say quite alarmed by this. And then Bob says, oh, it's a bit dark in here. Hold on. And he just casts Moonbeam in the corner. <laughs> oh, Bob! Oh, Bob! Bob, everybody! Take it back! <laughs> I say, no, Bob, please, we can all do Moonbeam. Something much more important is happening. Well, it just I just sort of, it, you know, I was watching that and it just sort of made sense. I know, it's easy. Bob, probably the easiest spell there is, but that's not the time, Wait, Bob. Bob has been imbued. Bob, can you do any other spells? 
No, just Moonbeam. Uh, just Moonbeam. It is the easy. It's the default, everyone can do Moonbeam. Yeah. <laughs> Bob doesn't cast Moonbeam. The room is just illuminated <laughs> in a in a purple glow. Um, oh and no! And all of you sort of yeah, just take a moment to consider like, well, this is new. Bad, and bad, I bad. Would imagine I would bad. say bad. Who could possibly say? Not me, because I'm done talking. Yeah, that's, oh, okay. <laughs> that's all you get. No, oh, okay. oh, oh my god. What will they all become of the Oxventurers? Oh, Find no. out. Inside the We're gonna be orb food. Find out next time. <laughs> will they all be eaten by orbs? There might oh, be a new race of super orbs we'll take <laughs> over again. <laughs> will Egbert eat the orb? <laughs> <laughs> it looks like an egg, possibly sealed game, and we'll try. Oh. Mm-hmm. Well, well, there you well go. I hope that mouthful was worth it, Prudence. Yeah, Prudence. <laughs> hope that level two spell is worth it. Yeah. <laughs> Could I recommend Moonbeam? <laughs> <laughs> Why not take Prudence. Speak with Plants? I think that's the one that we don't have covered off. Yeah. <laughs> animal friendship, pretty good. <laughs> yeah, Speak with Animals, pretty good. Oh, Prudence, I can do what that if one. you learned. Um, Thunderwave, and we could do like a sort of back-to-back guitar hero oh, duet. That would be yes. pretty dope. Yeah, yeah dueling cool. guitars. Yeah. Now, now don't uh, don't sleep on Greece. I will say. You fall over when you get up. It's horrible. It gets everywhere. Just, say, just saying. Corazon's always saying, "Don't." Oh my sleep gosh! On don't sleep on Greece.